Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Naked Tutorial. Today we'll be going through the process of reshelling a set of Sure 535 into OEM 535 shells. The Sure SC535 was released in 2010 and has been in production since. For an IEM of this age, it is not uncommon to have the shells starting to fall apart. We have already done a dedicated teardown review video on the disassembly process for the SE535 and you can find it here or at the link below. For the reshelling process, we will need the following items. For tools, we will need soldering equipment, tweezers, damper remover tool, needle and super glue. For parts, we will need the OEM SE535 shell and a pair of female MMCX connector uh, which is optional. After carefully disassembling the drivers from the old shell, the first thing we want to do is to transfer the damper to the new shell nozzle as it is very small and easy to lose track of. Use the damper remover tool to install the damper. Be careful not to damage the thin plastic and screen of the damper. We will now carefully slot the driver into the shell. The front of the driver with the silicon gasket needs to be aligned with the back opening of the nozzle and we can slot the metal plate at the back of the driver assembly into the small holder slot at the back of the new shell. Be careful when slotting the metal plate as the holding slot is made of thin plastic and is quite fragile. Once this is done, we can now slot the female MMCX connector into the connector holder on the shell. We can now seal the shell back after testing the sound balance using a needle and super glue. Pour a small amount of super glue on a piece of unwanted plastic. Dip the needle into the droplet of glue and apply them along the edges of the shell. Close the shell, wipe off any excess glue and hold them together for a minute using your fingers or a clamp. The whole disassembly and reshelling process is quite straightforward and you should not run into any big issues as long as you are careful enough. So that's the end of today's video, we hope you have learned something new today.